This time we're going to rescue the casualty from his uh, ascenders, that means his chest ascender. Um, yeah, that's it. So what I started to do was I put the ropes here on the same side so that I come up on the side of the casualty. It gives me a better, better overview. So I climbed up to the guy here and uh, the first thing I want to do now is uh, put myself into the ID mode so that I can rescue myself if something happens. Do that. I hold my braking rope here, pop the crow, and put myself up a bit. Now, let's see. I got my back up here. I want to take my back up and put it over his chest ascender. In order to do that, I make a knot slightly under my back up. Take my spare cow tail, attach it to the butterfly knot. Then take my backup, move from the rope, and put it over. Like that. Pop. And remove the cow tail and remove the knot. Passed on that side. Good. See if I can get it higher here so I can get good over. I could. Good. Good. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make two points of connection. That means I take the casualties, a bit of rope management here, well, casualties, spare lanyard, into my D ring, and that should be the lower D ring. Then I take my rescue strap from the casualties, external D ring, to the back side of the ID carabine. You can see here, it's the front here, front side, but I want to take it here, on the back side. Good. Now, the casualty is now hanging on one point of connection, two, three, four points, really. So I could, without any problem, remove his backup. There go, there you go. And I just elevate myself a slightly. What I try to do is, Remove his hand ascender so I can get my back up a bit higher. And I continue as high as I can. I want to put a lot of tension in the rescue strap here. So I got him in under fully control. It's almost like I'm trying to lift him. And when I can't, I lock off my ID. Now, what I want to do is I prepare myself to go down with removing my own hand ascender. Oops, it is. No, I'm still on the side of the guy. One rope. Two ropes. Keep good. Good rope management. Now I need to lift this guy. One way to do that, there are many ways, like everything. I uh, use his equipment. Take the foot cord through his sternal D ring and back again. This way, I built a two to one uh, pulley system. Mechanical, mechanical advantage system of two to one. So the foot cord goes from here, down catches the sternal D ring, up and down again. Got about 15 centimeters here. So hopefully, when I stand up here now, he will get up and I will get a sh uh, chance to open his pole remove the rope and close it again. Now, it's on the wrong side here, so see if I can get you guys to see. It. Stand up, look, I can stand here forever, lift it up a little bit, open up, remove the rope, close it, slowly sit down, spin a little bit, put my hand on top of the foot cord ropes so I control it. So I can get my foot out, stop swinging, stop, and then slowly we lower the man. Good foot, 
see if I can turn it back to you guys. I don't want to be impolite. So, you see, he didn't go down at all much. There's no tension here in this rod. So I can quite easy remove the handle center. Now, since it's just training, I take my time to put this uh, gear back in the right position. Now, again, I do my rope management. Yep, got rope, a bit of everywhere. The idea is for one person alone, so of course, I need my friction carabiner. Make sure the lines are clear. And I'm ready to go down.